And they're off, and Ty Namera fires up, and so does Sanibel Island. She's up quickly. Galleria towards the inside with early speed. Oh, you pretty thing settles off the early speed in third, and Ty Namera takes a seat fourth. Miss Kitty Hanover got away fifth, and Pan Yankees is sixth, and they settle in early. And it's Sanibel Island, winner of the opening round of this at Scioto in 2.22 and 2 at a mile and a quarter, leads it here with Tony Morgan. Sanibel Island on top with Galleria in the second spot, that divisional champion. And here comes Oh You Pretty Thing now, and Luke Willett tapping her with the whip off a quarter of 27 and 1, and she'll look for the lead. Oh You Pretty Thing looking for revenge on Sanibel Island, and she's going to park her out here down the back stretch, and the duel is on. Galleria is third by three, four lengths. Tynamaris fourth, three more lengths to Miss Kitty Hanover fifth, and Pan Yankees is sixth. And oh, you pretty thing on the outside is full out as Sanibel Island takes her on on the inside. And the two mares are eyeball to eyeball, and they blaze past the half in 54 and two. They're going at a tooth and nail here. Oh, you pretty thing on the outside. Hung out. Sanibel Island retains the lead on the rail. And right there, keeping up to them, is Galleria and Mike Lachance in third. Two lengths to Tynamara fourth, closing the gap. Here comes Miss Kitty Hanover, the upset specialist in gear now for Miller. And then three lengths to Penn Yankees. Three quarters. Unbelievable. 121 and one. Sanibel Island, can she keep it up? Oh, you pretty thing pressing her. Miss Kitty Hanover now. The ear plugs out and here she comes. They turn for home and it's still Sanibel Island digging in. But on the outside, Miss Kitty Hanover getting to her. And after a perfect trip, Galleria now looks to shake loose out of the pocket from way out of it. Ty Namara vaults off the quick fraction. The mile was 150 and four. And Sanibel Island still there. Sanibel Island, Ty Namara. It looked like she nailed her at the line in 158 and four. Dramatic photo finish. She nips Sanibel Island at the line, 1-4. Number two, Galleria was third. 1-4-2. And what is believed a world record time for the mile and a 16th distance, 158 and one. For an open mare, 158 and one for the mile and a 16th. She's a six-year-old bay mare by Safe and Rich out of Lady Ann Blue Chip. My precious fella, owned by the Peter Pan Stables of Pepper Pike, Ohio. From the Joe Stutzman Stable, trainer Stephen Pothier, winning driver Kat Menzi. Her second straight win here at the Big M. As she won an open here a couple of weeks ago in a lifetime best. Sets a world record time here for the mile in the 16th, 158-1. And it's official. Number one, Ty Namara pays $17.565. $5. Number four, Sanibel Island, $564.40. Number two, Galleria, $4. The one four exact at $73.40. There was no trifecta betting on the third race. And the traditional photo in front of the teletimer being taken now. With the world record time of 158 and 16. Set here by Ty Namara, who was second in last year's Classic Distaff Final. Making our third race presentation, Mr. Don Fazio. Don Fazio to the Peter Pan Stables. In just a few moments, we'll be going down to the winner's circle with Bob Holly Hollywood Hayden has Kat Manzi. Thanks, Ken. We're in the winner's circle. Ty Namara wired the field last week, but a little bit different competition coming in. Kat, entering this field here, it's a pretty quality six-horse group. Yeah, they're just, you know, the best mares around. They're great. And coming in, uh, you had post four uh, strategy and uh, the fractions early. All right, well, I mean, I go into that race thinking, you know, uh, you know I've, I'm not really going to win unless things go my way. So I give a conservative effort and I got lucky with a little uh, head banging up front, and uh, I got a horse that uh, can smell the wire now. She's, she's up for the money now. Well, 54 and 2 was one thing, but 121 and 1 was another. Where were you at that point? Well, I, I couldn't keep up there in, under the, uh, the fast pace, but uh, it worked out very good uh, being that uh, Miss Kitty got up alongside of me, and I, and I was able to slip out on her back still in the stretch. So, I mean, it couldn't have worked better. Were you surprised in deep stretch that the horse you were going after was still Sanibel Island? 
Not at all. She's one of the tough ones, that's for sure. I know you're pretty thing knocking heads. And uh, Ty Namara, uh, one for 15 on the year coming in, but she's improving pretty fast. The last two weeks, the last three weeks, uh, she's been very good. All right, Cap Manzi, congratulations to the Peter Pan Stable and Joe Stutzman and Stephen Paltier winning the Classic Distep, second of five legs.